everyone, welcome back to another one of these Beeplo boss videos. Today is Claws, but we're going to do the cheese strat version of Claws. Uh, there is another video with fighting Claws without cheese, so if you want to see that version, um, just check around in the channel. It'll be probably uploaded the same time this one is uploaded, to be honest. But anyways, the cheese strat is super simple. I'm not going to explain how the arena is set up, because there's videos that explain it better. But yeah. Uh, magic number is 3, attack 3 times, and then kite. Um, it's super simple. I will be jumping around here because there is multiple phases to this fight. And uh, because I'm fighting this guy in spring, it's mostly because of the winter feast. Normally you can only fight claws during winter, but during winter feast event, you can fight them all times of the year. So yeah, I will see you guys at the next phase. <laughs> So this is the Krampus summoning phase of Claws. This happens when you reach about half health. This part of the fight varies a lot depending on how many players you have. But there's two ways to go about this. You can use the Pan Flute to put everybody to sleep, thus making it easier to fight Krampus. But sometimes you can just do it this way, which is the way sometimes I tend to go towards, which is not using the Pan Flute. Uh, pretty simple, it's just syncing up the attacks. Uh, like I said though, it does vary depending on the amount of players. And there's a 1% chance right there to get a Krampus bag. But yeah, you can get a few extra hits in when he's summoning, um, but don't do it when he's laughing, otherwise he will start attacking you during that phase as well. I guess it doesn't matter because you're cheesing him, but aside from that... Phase 2 of the Claws fight. This happens after you deplete the rest of Claws' HP. Uh, he gets revived by his little living amulet and he gains a new lunge attack, which you actually don't have to worry about due to the cheat strap. Um, you will have to bait out an attack though, because um, similar to Berger, after his lunge attack, he does attack immediately. So, just like Berger, after the lunge attack, just bait a hit and then you can go in for more attacks. You still attack him three times, but during that roar animation, you can actually attack four times. There is a lot of variation when it comes to doing this part though. As you can see, I like go in and out and sometimes I get a few extra hits in, maybe like one or two. So it really just comes down to learning his attack pattern. When in doubt, just, uh, you know, take the time to learn it. He is stuck in place, so there really isn't anything too dangerous to worry about. Yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you 
in the next boss videos.